This is the, I think you might have seen me stop here a few times before, but this is totally flooded and in fact uh, just over a week ago I had to go a totally different route because the water was up to, you know, up to my knees, um, up to here really in depth and someone actually unfortunately passed away because they tried to cross on the motorbike and got swept away. Um, but the reason I'm pointing this out is because this is, I suspect, a result of land use change. Um, so this papyrus swamp that you can see, or well, this papyrus is what holds a lot of the water back, but upstream a lot of it's been removed and so the, the water doesn't get held back, it just gets flooding down really quick, so you get this flash sort of flood events. Um, you can see it caused real problems for people trying to cross, delayed people, someone lost their life unfortunately. Um, this is what you know, land use change can do, but I love this part of the the drive normally because it's incredibly scenic. I often get monkeys around here. So we just stopped to look at the river. I should say I've got probably see Richard behind me. I want to take some photos, but Richard has come. He's our expert from Think Aqua who's come to help us out um, with our BSF project. So he's got experience. Hi. Um, he's got experience with black soldier fly. Uh, and the hatchery part this is the bit that we really need some help with because breeding the flies, it's fairly, it's not that difficult. They're just flies at the end of the day and, um, you know, they're sort of used to, you know, you've got enough of them, you're going to get some mating correctly, but we just want to sort of make sure we get it totally right. Um, and then of course the other thing is the feed trial, just helping us make sure that what we do will give us the... Uh, the right type of information so that it's, you know, could be peer reviewed and there's a proper scientific trial that is um, useful. So, yeah, just let him enjoy it. We're spending all week together, so I'm sure he doesn't mind a bit of alone time. This is our ride with Humphrey there, uh, who's, who works with us. Um, we'll get on and meet the rest of the staff. We made it to Pawson's and we just had our staff meeting with everybody, introduced Richard and some questions and I was given the sort of the tour of the site where he's staying um, we'll go over to the fish farm in a bit but we're going to do BSF this morning and then we've got our K Innovate UK KTN meeting with the rest of uh, projects that won funding and uh, meet some of them present about what we're doing we're just doing this part for now and we'll go to the farm in a second and rodents have been so so our period. period. You should track them and give them to the flat soldiers. <laughs> <laughs> there are so many. <laughs> and they're also tricky, you know. <laughs> mm. Mm. Nice looking, mm. they're very active. Mm. Mm. So, you may know, why are they climbing? Why do they climb? Like, on Rich. this one? The, the, the bank was now they're climbing. Same. Why are they climbing? Yeah. They just do that. They, the, the, the sides of the bays are moist and they, they climb up looking for other, other things to eat. Maybe well, this one doesn't look quite as good as that one. I'd say the conditions in this one aren't quite as good. So maybe it's getting slightly anoxic. Mm. So if you turn this, it, 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 it would be better, I think. It's also very moist in here as well. You've got some dead larvae in there. So, still day one, and uh, we are just reaching the site, and it's now about half three ish in the afternoon, so a bit late, but I had to do a bit of orientation with Richard this morning, looking at the Black Soldier Fly facility. Then we had our lovely funders, Innovate UK, to put on an event to bring all the projects that they're funding. Um, together and we presented um, live from the maggots which was quite uh, well hopefully people appreciated that so it's nice I think to show sort of the real impact of what you're doing um, so this is Richard just his first impressions yeah, it's like it's felt like you get you start to feel a bit insecure because this is like all you've poured in all your effort time energy money all that all those good things into this and then of course Richard who's you know he knows his stuff right and so What's he going to think of our baby? Um, just sorting out his shoes, I think. Um, 
so yeah, hopefully you'll have some good things to say about the pump. Uh, it's been raining again, as per usual, which will cause impacts the, the finishing of the last pond now, so hopefully they'll get that going. What do you think, Richard? First impressions? Yeah. Thumbs up, thumbs down? More remote than I expected. More remote than you expected. Yeah, it's good. There you go, it's good. Well, I, I'll, uh, I'll stop harassing him with video and then we'll, we will get his thoughts on it later. I'm sure he'll give us the, the lowdown. Right, so let's get to it. Uh, this is the last of the ponds to be dug out. You can see the progress. This is like this trench bisects the pond. Just helps with drainage. But it's heavy work. I just had a go myself. Just because I don't get to do fun things like this that often. I don't come here that often and I'm often sat behind a computer. It's nice to get some actual work in, but I can tell you it's very hard work. And hats off to these gents doing it day in, day out. Uh, definitely appreciate their work. Um, so I think we've got probably a couple of days left. Uh, the depth over there is 1.3, which is perfect, more than we wanted. And then we've got about 1.5 here, so plenty of depth. As you can see, get rid of this bank that was stood on. Is he in? I think he's got some feed for the. which has been feeding the fish, I think. On his way back. Right, that's the end of the day, probably. Um, be heading home shortly to talk about the farm with Richard, get some food, have a shower, and uh, just carry on with the day. Then day two rolls on tomorrow. <laughs>